we're dealing with a lot of news flow this morning, specifically when it comes to commodities, when it comes to emerging markets, South Africa, for example, going to the polls. There's a lot of questions about where you get the juiciest yield right now. In your view, where is that? Yeah, it's a great question. I think it is still an emerging market yield. It's going to be a difficult backdrop because I do think the global yields still have a little bit higher to go and obviously the Fed will be at the forefront of that. I think that as Kashkari said yesterday, we can't rule out hikes yet, uh, yet even though it's not likely. And that kind of backdrop makes it very, very tough for emerging markets because the dollar's not rolling over yet. US yields aren't rolling over. But overall, some of these emerging market yields are just extraordinarily appealing. You t I mean, Mexican peso has been a long running one, but you've also got great yields in Brazil. You've got great yields in many of the Asian uh, high yielders as well. India, Indonesia are some pretty interesting stories as well. So there are some appealing ones. And I do think South Africa is one of those ones on the list. But of course, in the short term, there are election risks. So maybe this is a bit more difficult in the short term timing. An election risk of the Mexican peso as well. I believe in the next couple of weeks, uh, Mexicans going to the polls as well uh, there. Talk to us a little bit then about this equity market, this bond rally. In the last two, three days or so, NVIDIA has gapped higher, even though we're talking about this macroeconomic backdrop of potential rate hikes into the narrative, whether it comes from the Federal Reserve. Again, not the base case out of Neil Kashkari, but commerce have certainly moved the market. Then the RBA. How long does the equity momentum go in the face of that narrative? I think equity market goes a chunk higher. I think it's probably going to run through to the next earnings season. Remember, we're getting these higher yields moves because the economy is doing well overall. Uh, and, and the earnings season has passed off well. Uh, we, the, the data showed like consumer confidence going yesterday saying it doesn't look like the consumer is rolling over just yet. So therefore, the U.S. economy is not likely rolling over yet, just yet. So I think the U.S. equity market has, has months of duration still. Now, it won't be at the pace it was before. And it might be a little bit more volatile. But but I think that the rest of the world can even outperform in that era. So I think we're going to have a generally equities do better, including U.S. equities. But I think the rest of the world might outperform. It might be a slightly more volatile period, but overall more gains to be made.